Yo, Challenger coach in here, what if I tell you Trinity Force and Kraken are not bad items actually, you know, last show. Just to be clear, Trinity Force gives more DPS than Stridebreaker. And of course, the other item, Jack Show, which are the generic mythic items for Olaf. Here is a proof as well. Statistically, these are the most builded items on Olaf. As you guys can see it with your eyes. Uh, so why would you go for this build? This is more so like a top lane build, but you can play it in the jungle as well. Like, I'm totally fine if you play it in the jungle. So why is this insane on Olaf? Why is this build super carry? So, here is the thing. Uh, Olaf can gain a lots of attacks with lots of AS, right? Olaf can gain a lots of, uh, how's it called? AD as well. Aside of that, his Q can also... So, pen armor, right? Because Kraken deals 80 damage. So we can see right now we deal 357 max damage with it, right? Our W provides us a great amount of attack speed, same as our passive, right? So the lower I get, the more frequent it's gonna get, right? And if I stack up Kangara right now, we visually see that it's 418, right? And if I pop my ultimate, it's even more, right? So right now we can visually see that it's 530 damage on two items. That's quite a lot, right? That's quite a lot. <laughs> now, aside of this, your Q also penetrates armor, which again favors both Tr Kraken and Trinity Force because both of these items deal actually physical damage, uh, which means that this this build gonna allow you to super hard carry. Now, the only issue with this is that you're not as sticky as if you would have Stride Breaker, so you could arguably even go Stride Breaker and Kraken if you really feel like. Uh, my reasoning behind of that is just simple, uh, if you really need like some extra mobility to catch up to some squishy champs that have a lot of mobility and you can barely catch up, your teammates can't really help you either to get close, then definitely go for a stride baker. But from my own personal opinion, on a champion tank can gain this amount of attack speed uh, and attack damage plus armor pen on his Q, Kraken would be definitely a decent choice. The only issue with Kraken is really that it's gonna make you more squishy, that's why it's, I said that there is some degree of risk out of this item, of course. But generally speaking, it has lots of lots of damage on Olaf. Um, now, how do you continue this build? Let's say hypothetically you go Stride, you go Trinity Force and you go Kraken, right? Now, what's next? Uh, if you really feel like you could go even more offensive, right? And, and it's not inherently wrong actually to go Blade of Dragon King on this champion because it allows you to have extra stickiness, right? And uh, extra damage on hit because you have a lot of attack speed that synergizes with the champion. Of course, uh, Life Seal also synergizes with Olaf, so overall Blade is not bad, but again, this is just a carry build. You could be a bit more tank as well if you really want to, or if you want to penetrate armor. Again, depends on their comp. If they have a tankier comp, you can go for Black Cleaver because it also synergizes with Trinity Force and Kraken just because they deal physical damage, of course. So, that this item also is gonna help you a lot, but depends which lane you play. If you play top lane, you could also go Halfbreak or third. It really depends, like, where do you play Olaf, right? Now, uh, from the other hand, what else? Ravenous Hydra, again, it's decent on Olaf. Uh, it's just hard to kind of like fit it in, in this build because your third item should provide you some HP. So I'm not sure how worth it is actually to go for Ravenous Hydra at this point. Uh, it just feels like it would make you a bit too squishy. That's my only issue. So you generally need some HP, bruiser items or tank items like Randuins. If they have a lot of crit, right? Or stuff like Maw, right? Maw has again insane synergy with Olaf. It really depends on the enemy team comp, honestly, right? So, like, usually, like, after your, uh, like, let's say after your two items, usually they are generally uh, dependent on the game you are playing in. Uh, and let's say your final item can be, like, I don't know what, like, let's say they have a lot of AD, but they don't have too much poke, right? And you can, could go even for this item, so you could go, like, something like Full Bruiser, right? And if I'm full build right now, we can see it with our eyes that Kraken does 1k. Every third auto. And at this high velocity of attack speed, it's really easy to get those third basic attacks off. Now, my HP is not damaged yet, so I get no bonus attack speed from my Berserker's Rage. But if I damage a little bit my HP in here, a little bit more, a little bit more, perfect. Now we can see that I can get full attack speed really, really quickly, right? Reset ult, of course. We can see that now we are 
really fast at basic attacking and healing up. Now one thing I'm not sure of if the proc effect does uh, work with lifesteal like if it does heal you in extra that's, that's the only thing I'm 100% sure in but I would highly recommend you guys to actually play this game if you feel like that you can carry maybe in higher ranks it has less validity than in lower ranks but in lower ranks I would 100% recommend this build that's it from now guys have a nice day